we have been focusing on the sectoral impact of COVID-19 on various industries, organizations and people. So today we'll be asking some of these models that you would have seen on your favorite advertisements, brand campaigns and of course on the ramp. How are they really adapting to the new normal? What's been up with them and how are they, uh, you know, innovating with their shoots uh, digitally? I have with me Marriott Walson. How has life been since March? First of all, thank you for having me, Rhythma. I really appreciate the opportunity to speak with you. It's been a journey for sure, because I think the shutdown and the lockdown, even though we sort of saw it coming, we didn't really realize the real impact of it until it actually happened. So the first reaction was, yeah, I get a break to spend time with my family because I haven't seen them or lived with them for the last, I think, 10 or 12 years. So I really took the time off to focus on myself, to connect with them and to sort of really build, rebuild my relationship in a way that I hadn't all these years. Secondly, as far as work was concerned, of course it has reduced because living in Bombay, we used to run for auditions every second day. We would be meeting people. And a large part of our industry is based on meeting people, people seeing you. But since that ha wasn't happening, I think the focus for me started, became twofold. One, it's very rare that we get this kind of time to ourselves. So I thought it was the perfect opportunity to develop all the talents that had been on the back burner so far. So I started exploring my comedic side. I started exploring singing. You might see some music out soon. And I thought that was the real positive of this side of the lockdown. But the second part was it really forced all of us to be extremely innovative in a way that we hadn't really imagined before. So I actually ended up shooting a television commercial, which was shot entirely on my phone through uh, directions with my directors on WhatsApp. And my poor brother acted as the set director, the director, the tripe, the DOP, and the guy just, he behaved as a tripod as well. And I had to do the job for everyone else. So I think while it was fun, it's also difficult because we, two or three people are suddenly doing the job of what a set of 10 or 12 people would do. I want uh, to understand from you, you know, you guys have been in the business for long. For young models or budding aspirants who look up to you today, what would your word of advice be? Because the reason being that I can be so confident and say that, you know, I have the time to explore things and all of that is because at the back of my mind, I know that I finished an English literature degree from St. Uh, Xavier's College in Bombay. I know that I hold a postgraduate degree in corporate communication. So worst comes to worst, I can walk into an office confidently, I can nail an interview and I can get that nine yeah. to five job. The truth is that I have a backup. While it's really nice and cool for me to sit here and say that it's okay, I'm going to wait till the right brand comes and I'm going to use this time to connect with myself and create everything, which I am. The, there is also a certain privilege that I come from because my father's an uh, officer in the Indian Navy. So I know that I have a roof over my head and therefore I have, and I've worked, I've been successful, I've saved money. I have the privilege to be able to do this. There are a huge bunch of young women who are coming into this industry who perhaps don't have that privilege and who perhaps have to use this money and use this career to support their families. Right from the get-go, when I started, I always knew that I'm going to have a backup, I'm going to finish my college education, and then start this career, and that's exactly what I've done, which is why I can sit calmly today and say, and in fact, off the back of this, my family together, looking at the people who haven't been working, we're working on starting our very own social cause initiative, which actually might be eventually registered as an NGO, because our duty and the way I've been brought up is to understand that if you have privilege, it is your duty to help those who don't. So that's the yeah. direction that I'm going in whether this career works out whether it's for me to adapt and become something else or be the voice of speaking for women who are not represented or talking about how um, there's this whole concept of dark women not being pretty or whatever which it is essentially that means about, that you need to have a plan b and a plan c in place uh, in places this has been such a pleasure one to hear such strong opinionated confident women who are doing uh, great uh, professionally and have a sense of optimism for the young aspirants as well to tell them that hey this is it's probably a rock uh, and a hurdle in the long journey you need to have a plan b and a plan c adapt yourself innovate get more skills and of course use the time personally to know yourself uh, better as well marriott shruti priyanka as well as ishleen it's been a pleasure hosting you guys thank you so much wishing all of you, you. Uh, the best from here on